So in today's video, we are going to create this creative text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are going to like this video, then please hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 30 seconds long. And background color is white color. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Now, first of all, we will type our text. So let's choose Poppins font and I'm going to choose extra bold and black color. And type our text. I'm going to type small. Let's select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now we will tie animate this text with the help of our animate properties. So get, let's go to the animate and over here first thing we need to do is to add position and let's bring this position downwards like this. Then go to the add, select properties and choose tracking and increase the tracking amount like this. Then go to the add, choose properties and increase the, I mean decrease the opacity to zero like this and go to the add properties and go to the blur and increase the blur amount to 60 like that. So yep, this is the only properties that we need to animate and to animate this, we will go to the range selector, simply go to the range selector, create one keyframe at the start, zoom in a little bit, go to around one seconds and let's make this start value 100. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. So if you see this animation, we will get something like this. If you think this animation is quite fast, so you can select those keyframes and hit F9 again. You can go to the graph editor, select this graph and by holding shift, don't touch this handles too much near this anchor point like this. So if you see, we will get something like this. I think this animation looks perfect. Now I'm going to select this text and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'll select the second layer. I'll go to the character and I'm going to choose white color. And for the uh, stroke width, I'm going to choose black color with one pixels. Now hit page down button two times, select first layer and move this over here. So we will get something like this. If you want more distance then you can move this to let's say 16 frames also like this or let's say 4 frames. Okay this looks good to me and after that I'll select this second layer and hold alt close bracket like this. So we'll get something like this. If you think this see this thing in full resolution you will get something like this. Now at this point I'll select this text I'll create one keyframe at position then I'll create one keyframe at rotation and then I'll hit U then i'll go to around let's say 2.20 frames maybe and let's make this plus 90 degree like this and press v and let's move this text over here now i'll select my text tool again and i'll add another text and i'll call it that step let's select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically Press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this and make sure your scale should be at this size of this small text and select this text press V and let's move this over here like this. Okay and select this text now and make it apparent with the small text. So if you see you will get something like this. Now after that I'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and make sure I mean rectangle tool only not selection tool and select your fill color anything if you want and let's create one mask like this then press ctrl alt home and make sure that you are time indicator at this point and let's select this shape layer and we will also make it as parent with this small text like this now select both the keyframes hit f9 like this okay now select the step text, press F4 and choose alpha map, like this. Now select the step text, press P for position, create one keyframe, go over here, create another keyframe, go to the start and we will bring this downward like this.
but if you see this is coming from here so for that we will need to select this mask and we need to move this upward like this okay this looks good to me also select both the keyframes and hit f9 now make this fit so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation so let's go to the graph editor select these things again by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if you see this animation from the start we will get this and then this but we need to select this and we need to completely bring this downwards so first i want this then i'll get this okay like that now hit u again hit u let's go to the start now select both of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as first text and hit ok ok now let's say up to around 3 seconds i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layers like that then go to the rectangle tool and we will select this and we will create one mask like this select this hit ctrl d press m select this mask and convert this into inverted select both the tech i mean text lay i mean this compositions and press p for position create one keyframe go to around 4.10 select this one move this downwards select this one move this upwards like this okay and select both the keyframes and hit f9 like this let's adjust like this okay and if you want a proper adjustment so what you can do let's delete this keyframe uh, let's say you can go simply over here you can select this one now this one is going to be downward so as you guys can see the value is increasing over here so you can select this and you can add let's say 200 maybe or let's say add plus 150 like this you can select this and this time you can minus 150 so now the distance with between both of them would be accurate and now select both the layers press m go inside this mask and create one keyframe on mask feathers go inside this mask and create one keyframe on mask feathers and hit you again go over here let's make mask feathers 10 select this mask feathers 10 select both the keyframes and hit f9 now after that uh, i'm going to select my text tool again and we will type okay and this time uh, let's delete this stroke for now and we will create black color select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it this text like this okay this should be good now move, select this text and move this over here now let's go inside this animate property and we are going to choose position again again we will animate like our first one we will bring this downwards like over here then we will go to the properties and we will add tracking also let's increase the tracking amount then again go to the property and decrease the opacity add opacity and let's make this zero again go to the add property and add blur and increase the blur values to 60 and go to the rail selector create one keyframe at the start and go over here and let's make this 100 okay hit u so if you see we will get this kind of animation select those keyframes and hit f1 so like this okay then after that select both the key all the keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift sorry by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if you see this animation from the start first i'll get this then this okay again we will select this we will hit ctrl d we will go to the start let's say and let's move this somewhere around over here then I'll select the second layer, I'll go to the character menu, I'll choose white color for the text and black color for the stroke. So I'll get something like this. Okay, so our animation will look like this. 
now again hit u select all of them or uh, you can select this text let's say uh, i mean these two texts and hit ctrl d and bring them at the top uh, and select all of these layers above and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as second text and hit ok and we will follow this procedure again of masking now i'll select this text select our rectangle selection tool create one mask like this let's hide these two layers select mask like this hit ctrl d press m make this inverted select both of them or let's go inside this mask feathers create one keyframe go inside this create one keyframe and hit u okay like this let's hide the keyframe of this two select both of them press p create one keyframe and hit u so we can see those keyframes like this and let's go to around six seconds maybe and let's select this in uh, 100 let's say select this and let's minus 100 increase the feathers up to let's say 20 or let's say 40 this one should be also 40 select those keyframe and hit f9 let's select both of them and let's delete this first one we don't need that select this and move this over here hit u and enable this layer also like this and this time select this our text tool and we are going to type day day select this text increase decrease the distance between alphabets and, and decrease the size also and select this text and adjust it over here okay like this okay now select both of them uh, i mean hit u so we can see all the keyframes select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation so if you see this animation from the start i'll get this this and this okay so this is how you can create this kind of animations now press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's move this over here like this now select all of this text and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final text animation and hit ok now press p for position alt click on the stopwatch and apply wiggle and type 4 comma 4 so along with this text animation we will get something like this okay now after that uh, if you want then you can do this procedure uh, otherwise you don't need to do that simply hit ctrl n and we will create another composition and we'll call it as bg and let's hit ok then we will create our one stroke with the help of paint tool we don't want any fill so let's delete this fill and we are going to choose black color for the stroke and simply hit ok and from here to here i'm going to create one stroke like this and stroke width let's choose two pixels select this press ctrl alt home then we will go to the add menu and we will choose repeater go to the repeater go to the transform repeater one and let's decrease this position and we will increase this numbers now select this press v and let's move this over here okay now after that what we are gonna do we will select our ellipse and by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse and make sure to add any fill on that like this select this press ctrl alt home hit ctrl d press v and you can simply move this over here press s and you can increase the size of this and you can adjust it over here you can adjust it over here now select both of them press s for scaling option initially let's create one keyframe go to around 1.10 frames create another keyframe go to the star and let's make this zero select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here select this hold shift move this handle over here so we will get something like this and if you think the animation is quite slow you can simply select those keyframes and you can move it to up to 20 frames like that and go to the 10 frames select this and move this over here 
now select both of this compo I mean layers press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as circles and hit ok double click to open this like this select both of the circles go to the effect and presets panel and apply for wiggle position effect and increase the wiggle let's say wiggle amount like this let's increase it again so we'll get this kind of animation and if you increase more it will get some more animation now go to the bg move this or let's move this over here select the shape layer press f4 so we can see this option and choose alpha mask so we will get this kind of stuff now let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and if you want then you can bring this bg over here so along with this text animation you will get this kind of bg also so yep this is how you can create this kind of creative text animations inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned